Hey, good evening, church family. This is Wednesday, July 1st. Hard to believe, it's already the 1st of July. Some of you are probably uh, thinking about this weekend and maybe getting away for a family get vacation or celebrating the 4th of July. Uh, important weekend for me, as uh, this is, will be my final Sunday on July 5th, uh, as preaching as your, uh, as your pastor, as your lead pastor. So I just want you to know that. And as I think about what um, will be going on in the days to come and what this weekend looks like, I want to go back first and think about this last Sunday. What we talked about Sunday morning was about the church. And the Apostle Paul in Ephesians 4, he talks about the fact that God himself, Christ himself, called pastors, teachers, prophets to equip the saints, to equip the body of Christ to do the work of Jesus. And I say that because as I transition, as I move out of this role as lead pastor and to a new assignment that God's called me to as a district superintendent, I want to remind you that God has called you to that same task to be equipped to do the very things that Jesus himself did. And so we talked about that last week. We talked about the fact that as we are called to be mature in Christ. We're called to be united around the mission of Jesus, to make disciples, to lead people into life in Christ. We're called to be mature in Jesus, to grow, to become the full measure. We talk about that fullness of Jesus it really means that we got to get rid of the stuff of our lives so that Jesus can fill us. That's not an instant process it's instant thing it's a journey of faith it's called the life of discipleship it's called being a follower of Jesus and then Paul says when that happens then we'll no longer be like infants tossed back and forth but speaking the truth in love we will grow up into all things as which is Christ so I say that because speaking the truth in love reminds us that we've got to learn to speak like Jesus so I wanted to remind you because sometimes we go to church and we hear the message and we forget about it. Don't forget about it. It's too pivotal. It's too critical. And in this season, it's very, very, it, it's just, it's so important that we do that. Here's what I'm asking you. I, I know that the whole COVID season, um, I want to encourage you. Again, if you do not feel uh, safe, stay at home. We'll have our two services on Sunday, 9 and 1045. And I'll preach on both of them. And I'm going to share a little thought that probably is nothing new. You've heard me share before. But I want to leave you with the things that matter most to me. And so it'll be a time for me to uh, draw you to the Word of God, to set you up for what's next. What's next is a new season. And you're going to be uh, blessed. And I encourage you, don't quit. Press on in your faith, in your determination to be a person who seeks to follow Christ in everything they do. And I promise you, the best is yet to come. God's in it. So, have a great day. Have an awesome 4th of July. And I hope I see you Sunday. I hope you uh, just be praying for me on this day. And let's be prayerfully engaged in what God wants to do in the life of this church in the days to come for His glory. Amen. See you later.